Hi guys, welcome back. We completed Volcania on another video, but some people were having trouble getting the excitement on the coasters. So what I thought I'd do is I'd just show you the coasters that we've built. Um, I didn't put that much effort into them. It was just a case of completing the coasters and then testing them to see what the excitement was to see if we needed to do anything extra to them. After completing them, four out of five of the coasters had the excitement over 6.7 uh, the only one that didn't was um, this one here the suspended coaster um, that was slightly under I think it was about 6.66 or something like that so all I did was I toggled the chain lift speed and that took it over the 6.7 so the first thing I did when starting the the level and was built a load of rides and paths going all the way around the park just to get the money coming in that way then when we were started building the coasters we had a good eight thousand a month coming in that way we were able to chuck as much money as we had at building the coasters so i think the first one if i turn the overlays off because they go underground so the first one then was the looping coaster unfortunately it's it is in the station ready so we can watch that leaving now it's got a very long chain left um, so it's so long that we weren't able to run it in launched mode I did I did try that but it uh, wasn't able to get back to the station So I think this bit was all pre-built, so we couldn't change that. And then So there you go, it's not going very fast. It's benefiting from interactions with the existing rides and uh, the rides that were built later on as well. And then back to the station. Very short, very short track compared to some of the others. And that gave us an excitement of over seven. So we look at the, the wooden coaster now. When I was testing these, after completing them, I just put them into test. Um, I didn't watch them test. What I did was I put them all down to one train that way I was able to leave them test on their own without worrying about crashing and then I'd return to them later on to see what the test results were like. So I think all this bit was, was pre-built. Um, with this coaster, all I wanted to do was have it going around the volcano. just stop there because of uh, the block brakes on the chain lift so with this it is literally a case of chucking as much money as I had at the design um, there's nothing fancy with it it's running on fast forward So all we're doing is just going up and down the hills, around the bends, the water section there, and then this last bit then, I just, oh, I, I, I couldn't be bothered to do anything else, so I just had it going straight back to the station. And then these were just to get it back, this little bend. And then over nine excitement. So think fast forward until we've got this back at the station. Okay. So this one now is an inverted coaster. 
So let's pick up the train. Oop, wrong one. So I've got this nice interaction with the path there, so it goes down through through another bit of path, just up a long tr tr uh, chain lift. It's going over some of the existing rides as well. We got some uh, nice long sweeping bends. And back to the station. High six excitement. And then. We'll have a look at the suspended. So this is the only one where the excitement wasn't over the target straight away, which was quite handy really, because um, it probably would have made for a, a worse video if they'd all completed um, before I had a chance to look at them. So it's a nice sweep and bend on this, so there you go, and again through the through the supports for the wooden coaster a little bit of air time there sweep in bend and then back up to the station so when this came back it was about 6.66 which was under the um the target i toggled the chain lift up to maximum and then it went over and then the final coaster then is the the uh, wild mouse so we'll pick up this this uh this train here. So we've got it going over some existing rides, over the wooden coaster, and then similar thing then, just up and down, and then around another chain lift. And then just up and down. So it's not going too fast around the corners and then this bit is just going up and down all the way all the way back and then a, another another chain lift a little dip just to speed it up wide corner A few more dips and then back to the station the station has got a loop going around it so that already gives it a bit of a boost and we'll six seven on that almost eight and that's and that was the coasters there's nothing nothing complicated with them i think the fact that we've played them all through in order does mean that we're already um we've already got a good idea of how not to build a coaster with um so that we we know not to do too many um too many tight bends when the coaster's going quite fast it's just a case of of making sure that they aren't none of the coasters go that fast and then um so it's a, it's a good just managing the speed um if it is going fast get some sweeping bends in and um yeah but i think the main thing was we had so much money we were just making the coasters a lot longer than than we needed if it was a smaller park then um i think we'd have had a lot more a lot more trouble um and if it was a um pay entry park as opposed to a pay per ride park i think we'd have had a lot more trouble as well because we wouldn't have had as much money 
to throw at the at the rides. So hopefully this will um, help anyone who is stuck. If not, I don't know what to do really because it's it'd be too much to to go through them step by step. But um, all I could suggest was is to uh, play through more scenarios and that way and and practice building the coasters so you'll get a good feel for for the coasters and, and then even if you do build a coaster and it's too intense just have a look at the video of the of the train just to see where it's going fast have a look at the graphs to see where the 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 high g's are and then just try try to reduce that by adding brakes or or lowering chain lifts or, or that sort of thing so if you enjoyed please like and subscribe any questions or feedback leave them in the comments and i'll see you next time bye